Hey, this is Ash from KRK Systems. We have our brand new KRK Audio Tools app available on the Android and iOS stores. I'm here today to show you how it all works with our new KRK Rocket G-Force. The monitor align tool is used to set the exact angle of your monitors. You want them about one to one and a half meters apart and facing straight out for starters. To use the tool, we're gonna place it on top of the right speaker and hit right. We're then gonna angle the speaker in to exactly 30 degrees and freeze that. We're gonna take it over to the left monitor, do the same, 30 degrees. Freeze it. Now we've got both of your monitors set at exactly the same angle, 30 degrees for a perfect equilateral triangle with your listening position. The Spectrum RTA tool is used to analyze frequency versus amplitude in real time. It works together with a signal generator to show you what the frequencies are doing in your particular room. It has a signal generator with pink noise, white noise, sine waves, sine sweeps, these various signals can help you find different problems in your particular room. The Spectrum RTA tool also has a peak hold function that lets you freeze the wave at its highest point. This also helps you find problems within your room. There's also a cursor. You can click on it, drag it around the spectrum, and uh, it'll give you the particular amplitude of that frequency. Again, this can help you zone in on problems that are happening within your room. The delay tool is used to measure distance. It can measure the distance between your two monitors and between your monitors and your listening position. Let me show you how that works. First, plug a stereo eighth inch jack into your phone and then plug the quarter inch cables into each speaker. Next, to get a reference, turn on one speaker at a time, tap the tool. That's gonna set a zero reference. You can then come over to your other monitor measure the distance. It's about a meter. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to take the phone, put it in my listening position, right where my ears would be. I'm going to measure again. Pretty close. Ideally, you want the same distance between your monitors as you have between any monitor and your listening position. So it forms a perfect equilateral triangle between your two speakers and your listening position. The polarity tool is used for verifying that your monitors are wired correctly and in phase. If your monitors are out of phase, you'll have low frequency cancellations and problems with your stereo imaging. Here's how you use the polarity tool. Get your microphone nice and close to the woofer and start the signal. Once you've got a result, in this case, a nice green plus. That means my system is in correct polarity, in phase, and I can continue around the room and check all of my speakers and make sure they're correct. The level meter tool is used for monitor level calibration. This helps you set all of your monitors at the same level. There are two graphs on the level meter tool. The green one is for RMS level. The yellow one shows peak level. Down at the bottom, we also have a peak hold that'll show you the highest level that was reached during your analysis. To use this tool, start up the sound generator and turn on the pink noise from your listening position. So the peak hold has recorded the highest level that was seen. You then want to go around to all your monitors and make sure they are outputting at exactly that same level. You can adjust them on the back of the monitor if it's not quite right. The EQ recommendation tool is made specifically for the new KRK Rocket G4 monitors. It's not needed for these monitors to work, but it will help you select the correct EQs for your particular room. The way this works is the app will generate a pink noise signal that is then analyzed by the app. After about 20 seconds of the signal, the app will give you a recommendation for which presets you should use in your particular room. You might find that you have a different preference than these presets, that's okay. They're just a recommendation. The idea is to find the settings that work best for you so you can get great mixes. To use the EQ recommendation tool, start with your phone in your listening position, right where your ears would be. First, you wanna make sure you have a good level. 
So if you hit the start button, you want to make sure you're in that good range so you get a, a proper analysis of your room. Once you've got the level set correctly, we can start the analysis of your room. While the analysis is happening, which takes about 20 seconds, you want to move your phone in a slow figure eight pattern to get good averaging. Once the analysis is finished, the app is going to give you a recommendation for your low EQ and your high EQ. You can go on the back of your Rocket G4s, try it out, see if it works for you. You may even find your personal preference different from what the app recommends, so keep that in mind as you use this feature.